All right, guys, welcome to your next Android tutorial. Now, in this video, we're going to load, we're going to show you how to uh, link images and CSS from your assets folder or from your drawable folders into a um, into the HTML being shown in a web view. A little bit all over the place, but what we're going to do first is, or the very first thing we need to do is create a new file here, okay? We're going to create a CSS file. So it's in the assets folder. We're going to call it CSS.CSS. Okay. And actually, I might just rename that. Refactor, rename, I'll just call it main. Okay, so we're very simply just going to add a body. We're going to add a body rule, uh, color. And we'll make the text blue, so that's the color code for that's O O O O F F. That's like you know, two five six two five six blue. That's it. This is going to be blue. <laughs> anyway, that's the color change. So we've got that done. So that's our CSS file. So in our HTML file, if any of you have uh, worked with HTML before, you'll know all this stuff off by heart. Uh, link uh, ref equals. I think it's href equals main dot CSS. Um, give me a second to think. Type equals style sheet. Give me a second here. I need to look this up again. I can't even remember how to do basic links. I'm stupid. Okay, so I solved the problem. Um, I solved it. I looked it up. It's link rel equals style sheet type text CSS. Uh, href main equals dot CSS. So this will allow us to modify the actual CSS of this. Now, if we apply in CSS because it's cascading, a style to body, all other elements underneath it that can be applied, that style to the color will work. We'll do that first. Okay, so now we've got that. Now, if we load this, that CSS file will not work. You have to load the data in, uh, with a base URL. Now, if any of you have worked with HTML or CSS in the past, you know that this points to the folder. So if you have a file on a web server, for example, and you have your HTML and your CSS in the same folder, this points to a file in the same folder. But we're loading this from the assets folder. So we need to tell the web view where the base URI is. Because if we don't tell it that, everything will break horribly. So what we need to do is we need to load data with base URL. Our base URL for this for Android is file slash slash Android underscore eight assets. Our HTML, our text HTML type encoding UTF-8 and history URL null. This will now load it and will set the base URL to this, which means that anything we load will automatically come up. So if we run this, the styling should have taken effect and should show the uh, color being a blue color. It should be a blue color. Okay, so it hasn't actually worked. I'll look up what's happened and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I figured the problem out to be, uh, it should be file triple, 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 triple slash Android asset, not Android assets. Yeah, that worked. So now the text is nice and blue. So that's how you can actually provide styling to a HTML thing. Now what we're gonna do now is we'll adjust this picture to the correct size. So if we look at our HTML, uh, there should be an IMG tag, yep, image. So in our CSS sheet, we can actually modify the behavior. I've used this uh, very recently in the pixel enemy, in the new pixel enemy app to render their articles correctly. So I'm essentially doing that again uh, with one hundred percent padding or margin. percent 
0.02%. That should do the trick. So if we run it again, it should work this time. Oh damn, I love this Jenny Motion emulator. It's amazing. And as you can see, the image has been kind of horribly stretched, but it does work. I believe if we look at the image styling, Yeah, look, it has a height and width property. So if we just say height. And max height. One hundred percent. Essentially what's happening is the their uh, site is based on WordPress, I believe. So it's automatically uh, generating those values. So that's, it still looks all wrong, but you can see how it works. And we have a little bit of wiggle there for some reason. That sometimes happens. I believe that might be my margins, but uh, it should, should do the trick now. And I'm not really teaching you guys anything. I'm just fiddling with the style sheet until it looks reasonably okay. There we go. Now look, it's fitting correct, exactly and correctly, perfectly. It's fitting absolutely perfectly. And if you click links, as you can see, it brings up the uh, website automatically. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, the web view is very good, simply in order to show things like this, to do things like that. That's all it's really used for is for formatting text and the odd image don't use web views to load images directly don't do that use an image view if you have to download it properly and use an image view but the web view is a little bit slow but it's very useful if you need to do some fancy formatted text you know with lists and paragraphing links to other sites being working a great example of this i believe is reddit a lot of uh, reddit apps that read from the reddit api use uh, web views like that to make the posts appear correctly and they can you can style them then whatever way you like because you have the base html you can apply whatever styling you like and you can style it to suit the, ta the theme of your app very nicely so the web view is incredibly powerful now in the next video we're going to do a little trick called override base url but anyway guys i suppose as always it's been good talk and i'll see you out there